Hello and welcome to another episode of Ladies Talking Business. In the studio with me is Kasiana Ayegbe. She is the founder and CEO of Inspired by You Gifts, a lifestyle company and Africa's first personalized pamper hamper company. Who doesn't like to be pampered? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me in the studio, you. Kassiana. Thank you so much. Thanks for having Let's, me. Let's uh, get straight to it. What is, what is the average Nigerian's perception of personal care? Maybe you want to start by explaining what personal care is, what it means to you. Okay, so um, personal care will still be self-care. So, for, like the word implies, it means a lot of things to a lot of people. Everybody has his own definition of what you think self-care should be. But for me, ideally, it's just, um, I mean, honoring yourself, you know, taking good care of yourself, you know, putting yourself first, you know, to activate, I mean, the best part of you. So that's what it is to me. And I think generally it cuts across everybody, just thinking about yourself first and not always, you know, thinking about others and forgetting that you, you are. Exist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and how does this affect our health, our mind? So the thing is this, you know, we're, we're all very busy. Especially and in Lagos. I know, right? You wake up at 4.30, you leave your house at 5, without makeup, without your hair, everything, you just rush out. Sometimes I see ladies you wearing know, their makeup you while driving. You just rush out and you rush back in, you're tired, you have to do, you know, chores at home, food, mm -hmm. everything. And then it, it now becomes a routine and it's easy for everyone to just easily forget that they exist. Exactly. You know, so we have to actually, at some point in our lives, take a step back and think and say, I mean, you can't, you can't keep doing that over and over again. I mean, our bodies are the temple of God. So at some mm -hmm. point before you realize it, you'll forget that you exist. You'll forget, and then it, it in turn, I mean, affects your mind, affects your, but your spirit, your body, everything. So you have to actually, at some point in your life, which I think a lot of Nigerians are now coming into acceptance to say, oh, you know, with the, with the era of, um, the era of natural care, natural skin care and all that. You know, there's now a new organic movement, so mm -hmm. to say. Mm -hmm. So everybody is now trying to keep fit, trying to exercise better, try, you know, so generally getting a good well-being. Yeah, so. And this cuts across men and women. Do yes, you think everybody. women really are intentional about taking care of themselves? So, yeah, I realized that most men do not even think it's a necessity. They just think it's a woman's thing. I mean... I care. Why am I caring for myself, you know? But yeah, so to, to men, more to say, they would always, like, do the exercise bit, right? So they exercise a lot. I don't know how many men actually sit to, to meditate, for instance. It's, it's a form of caring for yourself. Yeah, it's a form of getting, your, you know, to, to meet your inner person. You know, so I don't know how many, because they're actually more so very busy, which is what it is. So everybody is busy, everybody wants busy, to make busy, money. yeah. And then we now get to forget that we exist. So the, for the man, it's, it's of course more because he has the family front. For the woman, it's also the same because she also has the family front, the kids, you know, trying to also make ends meet. So everybody just seems, to, even the children need to care for themselves. Mm -hmm. Children, because you know, with, with the homeworks that they give kids now in school, it's, it's, it's a lot. So actually at some point, they also need to take time out and Take, take time out for themselves. Sometimes we're, we're always rushing and we forget, but it doesn't, it doesn't have to be, you know, like a pamper day out all the time. No, every now and then, you know, every day actually. You can, yes. You. Mm -hmm. Even while driving. For me, when I, when, I, when I don't have enough time to be able to meditate or, you know, have time for myself at home, on the road, I still have time to put my earplugs in and just, you know, have that me time for a, bit, a short bit. How does it that help you. in terms of productivity? So for me, what I do is when I wake my ideal day would be trying to get, you know, to my inner self, like what do I want to achieve today? How do I want to go about it? So when I already have that, it helps me think about the rest of the day. We are all so busy. But if someone is not important to you, you will not find time to see the person or to call. Mm -hmm. If something is not really important, you really will not find time for it. If you, so if you decide that caring for myself, you know, having that me time, is, it's that important. I mean, it's almost like a, a matter of life and death. You would find time. All right, then. Thank you for that. Let's move um, now to gift giving, which is one of the things that you do amongst yes, other one of businesses. The <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah. The myth of uh, there must be an occasion before I give you a gift or I gift myself a gift. 
Tell us about it. Do you, you think know, it's I like, a need I like for when you? you say give myself a gift because for me, I actually like to give myself gifts. <laughs> Some people don't understand why they should give themselves. So, I give myself gifts. I take myself so, out. Yeah, because I mean, the world is a hard place. Let's just take time out and pamper ourselves. Just make yourself happy. You know, it's, it's, you have to, then again, I go back to being deliberate. You have to be deliberate about even making yourself happy. There are little things. It doesn't have to be like an over the board gift. Like you don't have to go all out. It might just even be taking yourself out for a cup of tea and just sitting down and watching cars go by. It's something, you know, it's something to leave, but it's actually a gift. So it doesn't necessarily have to always be physical, mm -hmm. you know, so you can have gifts that, I mean, it can even be a call. You can call like an old friend. It's a gift to yourself because you guys will have like time to talk and, you know, so there are different types of gifts. Yes, mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. give gifts. So it doesn't always have to be physical. You can take your friend out for a lunch, for a lunch date. That's a gift, you know, so yeah. And does it have to be something extra fake and very no, big, no, no, a no, car, no. So a Range thing. Rover? That's the thing. You know, it's the thoughts that actually matters. It's the fact that you, I mean, imagine that I haven't spoken to you in over a year and I call you up and I'm saying, let's have time out, like lunch or something. It's the, it's the fact that I can think of you out of my busy, my busy schedule Casual. and, you know, just think of you and then we'll have time out. You know, it's, so for me, that's, it goes a long way. I, I don't have a lot of that because, I mean, we're all very busy, but every now and then, even if I can't meet you up, we can have like a two hours conversation, one hour, once I'm, you know, once I say, okay, I, and you know, most times God impresses it in your heart to think of someone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You just don't, most, like I called a friend last week and he was like, wow, this is strange. I just thought of you. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yes, you've been on my mind for the past three days. And I just felt, I, I think I should just so stop. Cool. I was actually driving. As in, I was on my way home, like not driving, but I was on my way home and I just stopped. And we spoke for one hour. So it was a very long conversation and we, it was a gift, a form of Oh gift. my goodness, mm -hmm. he was happy because at the end of the day we had to talk about things that he needed help in, I also needed, so it was, yeah. And how did you come about Inspired by You Gifts? Hmm. So the name first and foremost, some people will say, well, what, what does that even mean? I just think um, from, from the start, I, I run a lifestyle magazine a Niger Delta lifestyle magazine that would, you know, it, it just depicts the positives of the Niger Delta, especially during the militancy era. So it was called Be You. Okay. So just be yourself, be who you are. So I've always been about the, you know, the you, you, you. So when I moved to Lagos, this was in Port Harcourt in the Niger Delta at the time, and I moved to Lagos about three and a half years ago because my, my husband had a job here and we had to move. So when we moved to Lagos, I mean, it was a strange land. I didn't know anyone. Okay, I had a few friends, very few, and then church, but I really did not know a lot of people. And then, I, so I, I, Tara Felagerito is my mentor. And at the time, you know, I would cry to her, sorry, I'm bored, and but she's like, I guess you're not getting hold of yourself. It's a new town, explore. So I would now attend the TFD series, which is like a ladies' forum for women. Mm -hmm. So I got to meet a few friends there. But you know, I was bored. I was bored, because when I go back home, I don't have my business to go back to because Lagos is a saturated land with, I mean, all sorts of I magazines you and, mm -hmm. you know, so for me, it was almost to say, it's a Niger Delta, but I actually need to almost to say be in a Niger Delta to let it run. Yes. So I just, you know, by trying to do my house, I just said, maybe I should even start making decorative candles because I like scents. I mean, I'm big on scents, fragrances. So that's how I started. Mm. And then so for, it was initially inspired by BU. But when you look at when you think of because it was inspired by my magazine, BU. But when you think of it, it really did not make sense if you do not have the background story. So mm -hmm. the B had to go. So it was now inspired by you, which is still yourself, you know. So basically that's what's how it's it came basically, about. It's basically centered on, on yourself. On yes. yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. So even mm -hmm. the gift given. I, I'll tell you how that started. So while I was at home, I would make products like I would whip butters, like share butter. Um, turn them into souffles, you know, make candles, and then I'll give them to my friends. I'll pack them up nicely in a gift box. You know, I like giving. It's, it's almost like to say my love language. So I'll give them, and they're like, ah, this is so nice, thank you. You know, so I didn't want to lose my Niger Delta essence. So I would name the products, like, after Niger Delta names, like Boma, you know, Deprie, mm -hmm. Tamono, like that. Mm -hmm. So a friend of mine calls me up. She's, she's the pastor's wife of a church, and she calls me up to say, ah, you gave me a nice gift box the other day. Would like to give pastors that are coming in for a program some gifts. And I've said to them they should call you and um, have you make these gifts for them. And I'm like, oh, 
no, no, this is <laughs> supposed to be a wake, wake up, you know. She's like, no, 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 but there's something okay, just have a meeting with them. And I went to them, you know, and they were like, oh, this is so nice, but who is Boma? And I'm like, okay, that's the name of the product. They said, can we? So it was actually inspired by them. It wasn't me. I didn't start it personalized. Okay. Do you get? Mm -hmm. That's how it came up. So for me, the business has just been, you know, people actually, the impulse of people, that's what has gotten me to this point. And that way you consistently Yes, so, so I'm, I'm consistently service. thinking of people. So it's not, it's not about what I lie down and I have one massive vision, you know, and I, no. So that was it. So we had a conversation and they were like, um... So I don't want Boma, the pastor's name is Pastor so-and-so. Can I have his name where Boma is? Can I have his name where Tamano mm -hmm. is? And I'm like, oh yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I still have to produce stickers regardless. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and I did that. Well, they were like, um, so I had pink. I like colors. I, I used to like colors, I think. <laughs> because I'm not sure I like colors anymore. <laughs> I mean, you're all in black today. <laughs> and like my kids, mommy, I don't know whose favorite color is black. <laughs> you know, so, but, so I had pink, I had orange. I had, they're like, um, can we just have everything? in one color scheme mm -hmm. and i'm like oh well, yeah it, i mean it's about you i i i'm even new it's to this really i don't even i don't even know what i'm doing do you get so it was the feedback from them that guided me so to say into okay. how it, it came and the package was beautiful mm. it was because we ha now had their names on every product and then we now customized the box okay. so when they when when the person got the gift, the pastor's got the, it was, not to say, an experience. It wasn't just receiving a regular gift. I mean, I would not give you a gift that doesn't have, I, you, you would not give me a gift that has your name on it. So you know that it was premeditated. There's a connection with the gift itself. So it's not something you just run around and pick up. No, you must have thought of the person to give the person's name to the gift company to produce. So, so both the gift giver and the gift receiver knows that it's a very intentional yes, and is. deliberate it act. Is. That's it's a, it is. That's excellent. Yes. <laughs> we're going to take we're going to take a break okay. now, but we'll be back shortly. All right, please stay with us. We'll take a break. I will be back talking about self care and the business turning it into a business for yourself. Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching Ladies Talking Business on Plus TV Africa. I've been speaking with Kessiana. All right, Kessiana, before we left off, uh, we were talking about, you know, gifts giving and then the fact that you've been able to turn what's accidentally happened into yes. a business now and a thriving business at yeah. that. What about gift giving would you say people really don't know? It's the fact that you don't have to have a lot of money to give gifts. Most people will think, oh, I have to break a bank to give a gift. Like I already mentioned, a call is a gift. If I don't call you often and I call you, it's a gift. It's, just, it's the fact that you think about someone, that I think about you well enough to call you. It's, it's my time. So for me, it's not, it's, not, it's not regular. You don't go around calling everybody. I mean, I'm sure you have like over a thousand people on your phone. You don't go around calling everyone. So, f I mean, there are so many ways you can, little things. It doesn't have to be like, you know, oh, I mean, an all, all wrapped big box, you know, or buying like a car with a ribbon. No. You know, even spending time with friends, with family, with children, Having with your kids. Yes, conversations, deep thoughts. You know, I was saying to a friend yesterday, I said, oh my God, I've missed you. And I was going to put it on my Instagram that, can somebody help me find this girl? I miss her. And she smiled. She said, you didn't do it. I said, don't worry, we're already talking. And we spoke for two hours. <laughs> you know, she was on her way home in traffic. I said, my friend, I've been on the phone with you for two hours. This is someone I haven't seen her in a while. But we caught up and, you know, so, and I felt she, she didn't want me to go. I said, oh, we have to go, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. So it was, I know it was a gift to her. Because mm -hmm. she, she was at some point where she needed, you know, to talk to someone. And I also needed to talk to someone. So that alone is, you know, so it doesn't necessarily have to be about like physical items all the time. And how were you able to navigate through? Because from your story, it's very obvious that, I mean, you never intended from the start to start this off as a business. Well, it funny was... enough, I think God orchestrated this somehow mm -hmm. because yeah. I'm a chemical engineer by by profession. Oh. Yes. So I have an OND in computer science and a BEng in chemical engineering from University of Port Harcourt. And it's amazing that my project was soap making. Yes. At the time, liquid soap making. And in my head, I'm like, what has a chemical engineer? But I just wanted, you know. And I make no, soaps that's now. A, that's one of the things you do. I make soaps. You know, I, 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 make, I, work, with, I work with fragrances. I work with stuff that is chemical inclined. 
You know, this just reminds me of one of Steve Jobs' quotes where he said that sometimes you really can't connect the dots forward, you can only connect the dots backwards. backwards. So exactly. I think that's exactly what happened with exactly. you. But how have you been able to sustain this business and then the business strategy as well? All <sighs> this while. So like I said, um, the business is about you. So the clients help us go to the next level, you know. So we right now would produce everything by hand, customize them, but Two weeks ago, in the last two weeks, I've been hearing different things, different feedbacks from my clients. So I already know we have, we've gone past that point. So we're looking at something entirely Maybe different. That. Because mm -hmm. if you've received one of our boxes and someone else comes to give you, so you, because we work with names, once you give us the name, we put it up on our database to make sure we haven't given, or if we have, what the items were so we don't repeat. Okay, repeat, okay, okay. So you see, so, um, it's, it's a bit tricky because if you've received the box from us before, you don't want to receive the same thing next year. True. And I don't want to lose you as a client. So I have to be innovative constantly because we're not just about selling products. So you know how everyone will have a beauty company and sell products? We sell gifts and you come back as a return customer after using the products. Mm -hmm. So it's the other way around for us. So yeah, you will come back as a return customer, but if we have to give you a gift again, we don't want to give you the same thing. And I don't want to lose you as a client. So I want you to come back. So we constantly are innovating. We constantly have different things. If I tell you the amount, the range we have, you'll be like, what has this got to do with, with what you do? Mm -hmm. I mean, we give, we go as much as giving, but everything comes personalized. Everything, everything we get, because we want you so to your have your clients like, ask, they tell you what they want in the boxes pretty much? Yes, so basically we have like, a, 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 we give you a list of categories, you know, already. Okay. It's, it's, it helps you, it guides you, you know, but you can pick what you want. So we have item people that say, oh, the guy doesn't have beards, he doesn't have hair, he doesn't have, we're like, okay, you can replace with this, you can replace with that, you know. But ideally, we just have like category one for men, category two for women at a certain amount. So category, it just helps you, but you can pick what you want. And then we have like, we, we actually have done gourmet. We did gourmet last year. Hmm. Yeah. So we had like chin chin, everything was personalized into like a different, different boxes, but it was personalized. So, and it wasn't even black and white. It was for Christmas. So it was even red, you know, but we, we don't push that to new clients. We push that okay. to our former Clients that want to like return customers, you get. But how involved are your clients in oh, terms they of are. this? They are. It's, it's about you, so they are. I, I mean, you. Yesterday, I was having a conversation with a client that wants to give out boxes to um, for an event, and she, in her head, always said, "Okay, can I have a list? Can I see your categories? Can I see pictures?" And I said, "Would you just? Let, I know you have never used us. Would you let us walk you through so that you understand?" You know how it the works. Process flow. The process. Oh, and, um, and by the time I was actually like, oh my god, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so grateful. I just saw you on Instagram randomly, and I said I should just give you a call. I'm so, I'm so. And she was so. She was. Re I could hear the relief. You know, mm -hmm. she was, because we had put her through listening to her. I understood what immediately you come to me if it's an event. Immediately you come to us. We already know what you want. So, but you, you know how it is. You, you know, because you've never people used, want, you, to, be you want to be extra sure. Exactly. You want to mm. be sure that. I mean. You want to be sure of the names. You want to be sure the person can, would use the gifts. Sometimes you look and you say, oh, women most especially would have their own products. You don't want to over bombard them with new products, even if we want you to try them. So we'll try and give you like a broad spectrum so that you can at least use two of the products. All right, and before we go, I know that there are probably people out there listening to you right now and saying they want to start off either personalized uh, gift giving or something they are really passionate about, but then they probably do not have the finances. Do they need a lot of money to start you ventures don't even of this need nature? Money. When you say a lot, that means you you have money. Are you? You don't even. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't rob Peter. Too. I didn't. I didn't do that. I I didn't have a startup capital for this. I didn't, I didn't have a dime to say, oh, I set aside money. And no, I told you, I just started with how, it wasn't even a lot. We're just buying products. And the thing is, when you have clients, friends, I told you my friend helped me with the first job I got. Mm. They gave me 70% upfront. So I used their money to go and start off. Okay, okay. okay. She gets, so I already had made samples, giving them as gifts. So she used them, she liked them, and they called me. You know, and at that point, I'm like, okay, so this is it. This is your invoice. You need to give me 70% off front so that I can, you know, run. 
So, so to be honest, nobody has an excuse not to start off whatever it is he or she wants to start off. Not at all. So what's your parting words for our viewers today? <laughs> be pampered. <laughs> I want to be pampered. Don't I always want to be, be pampered. pampered. I pamper myself. This is your reminder to <laughs> be pampered. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us Thank in the studio. You. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Thank, Thank you. you for having me. And that's all on Ladies Talking Business at this hour. For more educative and entertaining conversations of this nature, please follow us on our YouTube channel on Plus TV Africa, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn as well. Thank you for staying with us. Until next time, I remain your host, Irene Ubani.